guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel Cade. I am a professional makeup artist and the owner of Cade & Company where we provide luxury travel solutions for makeup artists, hairstylists, and beauty enthusiasts. So if you're in the market for a better way to store your cosmetics while you're traveling, then make sure you check us out in the link below. So this year, Cade & Company will be going to our very first trade show, the makeup show New York City, May 5th through 6th. And I just want to show you guys some great things that I got for that trade show. I'm going to be going over some of our flyers, our shopping bags, and some good devices to use if you're going to be going to any pop-up events or any trade shows. And if you're also a small business going to your first pop-up event or going to a trade show, make sure you watch to the end of the video to get some inspiration, to get some tips and tricks, and get some ideas of things that I use. And maybe you can incorporate those at your very first trade show as well. So the very first thing that I want to go over is our flyers. So I ordered these flyers locally from a place about 15 minutes from my house. Uh, so I ordered 500 of them and it was probably like $61 for them. I wanted something small enough to just put in their shopping bag or even put in their wallet if they decided not to shop with us. They can reflect on this a little bit later. But I'll show you guys a close-up of what this looks like. So this is the front of the flyer. Just has our logo at the top. It has a QR code to scan and shop us on Amazon. And it has a few of our products on the front as well. I also let everyone know that we are artist owned. And then on the back, it has our company emblem at the top. Um, this is our cube set and then this is a QR code to follow us on Instagram and then down here there is a discount code to get 20% off the next time you purchase. With this flyer I'll be able to build a great rapport with our customers uh, because I am giving them a coupon code so it invites them back to shop with us again uh, and then again like I said I wanted it to be kind of small uh, to fit in their wallet or fit in the shopping bag. Uh, so I think this is very nice. It's very sleek. I designed this on Canva. And then I just sent it over to the printing shop. Uh, but I think they did an amazing job with this. Um, and I probably will be ordering more. So. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is this pamphlet that I made about a year ago. So this pamphlet, when you open it, it gives a little bit more description about our company. Uh, it gives some descriptions about the products uh, as well as myself. So I designed this to go in every purchase and I really want to be able to pass this out at the trade show as well. So I'll give you guys a close up look of this as well. So this is the front of the pamphlet. Uh, now this pamphlet was made by our manufacturer who does all of our packaging. And as you will see later in the video, our shopping bags are also this blue. Uh, I call this Cade Blue. This specific color is something that only our manufacturer can make for us. I do know the code and I can use it other places, but I don't want to give people that code to be able to um give to other people to use on their products as well so i just make sure i go to my same manufacturer whenever i want to use this blue so opening the pamphlet it takes you to uh this very first page it gives you a little bit of a background about our company um it also gives you some products it shows a picture of myself uh it lets you know about our pro pass we do give 40 percent off to any makeup artists hairstylists, uh, nail technicians, um, and then it gives you a QR code to take you right there. And then when you open it completely, uh, it gives you a little bit more detail about our products. Now being at the trade show as well, this is something that I can give uh, to retail stores who are looking for new brands um, or anybody who is inquiring about small brands. This will be something uh, very simple but very nice that can be uh, passed off to them. So I tried to make sure I gave quite a bit of description about each product. Um, and then when you fold the pamphlet like this and close it, um, it gives you a QR code to take you directly to our website, as well as some reviews by some celebrity artists who have used our products. Uh, so this is something that I will be giving to everybody at the trade show and I think that is a really well made uh, pamphlet. This is something that I also designed um, in Canva and just sent over to my manufacturer and she was able to create these. I think I ordered a thousand of these um, and I think the total price was like around $1,200 for these and that included shipping. These will also be used as a takeaway for anybody who comes up to our booth. Um, wanting any information about our company i can give them this as well as um, one of our flyers and they'll have all that they'll need so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll show you guys the rest of the things i got for our marketing 
Okay guys, so this is my Vistaprint order. I did go ahead and order some tabletop signs uh, that have some pricing on it for the trade show. And it did deliver yesterday. I did go ahead and open the box, but I didn't open uh, the signs because I wanted to open them on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these look like inside. So I ordered a total of three of the tabletop signs. Uh, they're retractable signs. I thought they would be really nice and it will really stand out um, on our table. So I hope they look as good in person as they did on the website. So let's go ahead and cut this open. So it has um, like this assembly instruction for it. So let's see how it's supposed to. Okay. So join the pose and insert it through the two holes of the base unit, one above the other to ensure the graphic remains straight. Okay, so we're gonna see how to put this together. It looks like this is the top. This goes in here like that somehow goes into here there go. that's in there I should be able to just pull this up and like click it on here so oh wow this is really nice so this is the price list for our best sellers. So it has our double decker, it has our cube set and our tote bag. It also has a little description about them. It has our original retail price and then our sale price for the 25% off because at the trade show we will be doing a discount. So this looks super, super nice, super nice. So the pictures came out really great. The coloring is great. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest together and see what they all look like side by side. So this is what all three of the tabletop signs look like. I did one for my cubes, I did another one for tools, uh, and then I did another one for our best sellers. These are perfect. They're even better in person. They're actually taller than what I expected. Uh, these are going to look really nice on the table. I think it's going to draw in a lot of customers. Also just gives our customers uh, an idea of our price range before they shop with us. So I'm super excited for these and I know that I'm going to be using these over and over for uh, other trade shows and things like that. So if you are thinking about getting some tabletop signs from Vistaprint, these are the retractable ones. I think each was like $24. I ordered these tablecloth clamps um for the tablecloth that we're getting as well so that plus the three of these including shipping i think it was like 90 something dollars so something that's going to be used over and over it's not something that's just going to be used one time and thrown away i think this is a great investment for any small business owner or anybody who likes to do trade shows or pop-ups or anything like that go ahead and make sure you invest in these signs um and i'll show you guys the other marketing that we got as well so guys, I just got these in the mail yesterday. These are my barcodes for my C94 brush. I did already order barcodes for every other product, but somehow I forgot to order uh, this specific barcode for this product. 
Because I want to be able to scan everything for the trade show, I wanted to make sure that everything had a barcode. So I just went ahead and just placed this order and arrived last night. I got off work late, so I'm just now opening it. I want to show you guys what they look like. Some stuff has my address on it. So, so this is the first page. This is what it looks like. It just lets me know what I ordered, the sizing I ordered, how many sheets and how many labels are on here. Like I said before, I already ordered these, so I just went to my previous orders uh, and copied the exact same sizing that I did on the last ones. So this is what they look like. These are the barcodes for my C94 brush. Now with this company, one thing that I do love is you're able to customize how your barcode is gonna look as far as wording and text and things like that. So I was able to put our brand name at the top and I was able to put the product name uh, right at the bottom. So these look exactly like the previous ones I ordered. Oh, one, one, two, three. They gave me three. How many like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, sixty. So this is sixty labels. They gave me three. So shout out to them. <laughs> they gave me uh three sheets of sixty labels. But on here it just says one sheet. I know I just ordered one sheet of sixty labels. So shout out to you guys online labels this is not sponsored or anything like this i appreciate you guys for giving me the extra two because i really do need them uh so i'm gonna show you guys uh what it looks like when i put it on these are just like adhesive stickers so this is the product that the barcode is gonna go on so i think i'm either gonna put it on the side where our slogan is or i may have to cover up our emblem at the bottom so I will be sending this product to the LA store. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be shelved, but I'm pretty sure that it'll be either standing up in the shelf or on the side in the shelf. But I'm pretty sure like this um, and then the rest behind them. And then so when a customer comes, they'll just pick it up. So the barcode probably should be at the bottom. I'm going to take one. And like I said, they're just stickers. So you can see how it's like pulling up already. I'll put it like this. And voila, that looks so nice. That looks so professional. Uh, they are waterproof. They are matte. They looks like it already belongs in Sephora. Like, come on out. <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and add these barcodes to the C94s we'll be taking with us to the trade show. And I'll show you guys that in a different video. So this is our mobile POS device uh, that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, it is a Shopify mobile device, so it automatically links to your Shopify website. Um, it'll integrate all your products, your pricing, and things like that. I'm also able to uh, ship to a customer right from this device, um, and it's good for if you're selling in person, if you're at a trade show, or any type of event. So it just came today, so I wanted to unbox it on camera, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what comes in the box. So what I ordered was the actual mobile device and then I ordered a case for the device um, because I'll mainly be using this on the road, on the go, um, at trade show events. I wanted to make sure that in case I dropped it or anything that it was protected. So that's why I got that. Um, so let's open up the actual device first. So there's a card in here. Um, and it just says, uh, sell everywhere people shop, online, in person, around the world. Um, start selling for a dollar a month. Um, and then these are like some instructions on how to like set it up and stuff. So this, let's go ahead. So this is the device. Um, this will be like a card swipe up here. Um, and then the chip, like you can put the chip in here. Uh, and then it comes with a cord, charging cord. Um, and I think this is, 
um, like some instructions, like a pamphlet, um, I think like just explaining it and stuff like that. So I'm a person that likes to play around with things first um, and then like kind of go along. I'm not too much of an instruction reader, um, but specifically with devices, I'd rather just like try it out. And this is what it looks like. It's just a black case and you're able to like slide your hand in here to hold it while you're selling and if you need to like scan anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and turn this on and see uh, what it looks like. So the power button is on the side. There we go. I'm gonna take the sticker off. So now I'm gonna pick the language, English, United States. I'm gonna link it up to my hotspot. So I've turned on my hotspot, now I'm about to just connect to it. Hit join. So I've connected to my hotspot, now I'm gonna hit continue. So this is what pops up next. Because I already have a Shopify, I'm just gonna go ahead and click log in. Now I'm gonna sign into my Shopify. So once I've logged in, it's gonna ask me to select a store. I'm gonna go ahead and select Cating Company. Gross Point Farms Michigan is my headquarters. Um, so this is loading everything from my inventory uh, to my customers to my previous um, to the previous purchases. Let's just hit let's go. And it just gives you like a video of what you're able to do with this device. So you can scan the barcodes. Um, you can accept tap payments. Um, you can accept chip payments. Um, as well as swipe payments, I believe. Yeah. Goes over showing you how to charge the device. And then I'm gonna hit start selling. So it's telling me an update is required uh, before accepting payments. This can take up to 10 minutes. Uh, your device would not be usable during this time. So let's just update now. Process a test sale. So test product. This is what it will look like in the cart. Um, the test product is a dollar. The taxes on it is six cent, so one oh six. We're gonna hit check out. Uh, cash. I'm not gonna accept cash, but this is an option, I guess. So cash. Um, one oh six. And then you can email or text the receipt. That's really nice. Um, and then I actually just got a text on my phone, like you have a new order for a dollar. 06 so as i just also got an email someone placed an order and i'll put the picture um in the video so you guys can see what i'm saying so now i'm just gonna hit done we're done with the test order we've completed that so return home so let's go to Caden company let's just test this out and see what it looks like oh so this takes you directly to my website um so, okay, let's hit close on that. Um, what is this? Introduction. This is probably something for the POS system. It says unavailable. So, exit out of that. So, let's go down here. Let's hit products. So, everything is already in here. If it's already in my Shopify, it just automatically integrated. So, my artist tote bag. Uh, my C94, my PVC holder, clear canister. It has all my current products in here. And let's just see what happens when I click on one. So it has my barcode in here. Tells me how many I have on hand available. Uh, my pricing. Uh, so this is really nice. So let's see, add to cart. Go to cart. Um... So 59, so my taxes in the state of Michigan uh, is 6%. So this is accrued for 6%. 
Um, so let's just delete this because we're not doing anything. Um, let's see, customers down here. Just takes you to uh, customers who have shot with us. Um, and then let's see, what's more? If I um, register, what is that? Sales register, I'm not sure what that is. So staff. Um, so this is the stuff that's just basically in my Shopify. Um, and I'll have to add my husband on here as well because he'll be going with me to the trade show. Um, and then in the future, we'll be getting another one of these. So I'll have mine and he can have his and we both can ring orders um, at the same time. Um, and then settings. So let's see, dark light mode. Let's see what light mode looks like. I think I like that better. Yeah. Um, payment types and checkout. So credit, debit, cash, gift card. I'm not going to accept cash. So turn that off. We're going to go back. Uh, gift cards are going to be accepted. I'm going to launch a digital gift card for the trade show. Um, so we'll keep that on there as well. And let's see what other... You can add payment types, but I'm not sure what other payment types you'll be adding. So let's go back. Uh, printed receipts. You can set up a printer if you want to. Um, and then the location is headquarters. So this is going to be where all of the products are going to be shipped from. Let's go home. So let's see what this means when you add a tile. What does that mean? Oh, a discount. Um, we are doing 25% off at the show. This is going to be, um, let's hit the makeup show. Um, percentage, and then we're going to save. We're going to save. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to go downstairs um, and scan one of our barcodes and see how it pops up in this device. Okay guys, as a way to make it more efficient at the trade show, I went ahead and got one of each of my barcodes, so one of each of the products and I put it on this laminated pamphlet. So this one has all of our cubes on here. It has small, medium, large cube set double decker and tote bag. This one has all of our tools, PVC holder, clear canister, and the Model C94. So when we're at the trade show and we're ringing up customers, it's way easier to just go through and scan their purchase. Uh, so I thought creating this was a great and efficient way for the show. So I'm about to go ahead, use the POS device to scan each of these to make sure they work. So we're gonna go to cart and then take this that's the small cube. We're gonna scan the medium cube, the large, scan the cube set, the double decker, the tote bag, the PVC holder, clear canister, and then the C94. If I go to cart, it'll have a picture of the product, the name of the product, as well as the pricing. Um, and then I'll hit check out. I'll have the option to add a customer, their first and last name, their email or their phone number, um, or they can skip it if they don't want to. So proceed to payment. Um, it'll tell me whether I wanna pay debit or credit, a gift card, whether I wanna enter it manually or I can split the payments. Um, so let's just say debit. So now I'll be able to take the card, tap it, um, insert it at the bottom or I can swipe it on the side. So this is going to be great for anybody who's selling in person. If you like to do trade shows, if you like to do pop-up shops, um, anything like that, this is the perfect device for you if you already have Shopify as well because it automatically just integrates all your products. You literally have nothing to do, just sign in. Um, you're able to scan all your products and if you add something incorrectly, all you got to do is swipe and remove it. Uh, so this is going to be a great device. Highly recommend uh, going with the Shopify device if 
you already have Shopify. Uh, and then also I'll give you guys my first impression once I use it at the trade show. Uh, but this is just the official unboxing of it. Uh, and so I'll let you guys see the rest of the stuff that I got as well. Hey guys, so I just want to start off by saying I am in my basement where most of my inventory is, but our washer and dryer is in the next room. So if you hear any water or anything like that, that's what that is. Uh, so we finally got the rest of our marketing yesterday uh, for the trade show. We got our medium and large shopping bags, our tablecloth, and our banner. Uh, we already have uh, the small shopping bags. And I measured these correctly, so I'm hoping that I measured uh, the medium and the large size correctly for what I need them to fit. So I'm about to just go ahead and open the boxes, and hopefully everything fits and looks and works the way I need it to, uh, because we are just two weeks away from the trade show, and I'm super excited about this. Hopefully this continues to go in the right direction. So this is the medium bag. It has arcade blue and then our logo and the gold with the gold ribbon. So let's just make sure that um, what I need to fit in this medium bag will actually fit. So for the medium size bag, uh, I plan for our cube set to fit in there, as well as our large and medium cubes to fit in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and test this out. So this is our cube set. It would then go in one of our velour bags. So we're gonna do it like this. Close it up and then right in the bag and that's perfect and it's very sturdy to where if they're walking around the trade show for a while it's not going to rip or pull on the bag too much so this is really perfect and then you can also put like um like another cube in here maybe like a medium cube would still fit in here too so that's perfect sizing so this is perfect i've measured this great so let's check for the large bag So this is the large bag. So for the large bag, I need to fit my tote bag by itself and then my tote bag in a cube set. Like if people buy multiple products, I need it to uh, fit multiple products as well. So let's go ahead and test this out. This is gonna be really nice at the show. A lot of people are gonna just see this color just in general and wanna know what is this brand, who are we? So if you're just walking by in the show and somebody sees this bag, you're really gonna be drawn to it by the color number one um, and just the sophistication of it. So I think it looks really nice and hopefully it fits everything as well. So let's try this out. I'll just put this right here. So this is our tote bag um, and it'll also go into a velour bag. You know what, let me even see so if it can do the tote bag and the cube set. Tote bag, the cube set. Oh wow, look at that. That's so nice. It fits both um, of our biggest and largest products just seamlessly. So, and it's not heavy at all if they're walking around the trade show for a while. Uh, so this is a really nice bag and I'm so glad that... Um, it fits everything perfectly. Let me see if even if this um, 
if this tote bag will fit in a medium bag because it looks small enough to fit in the medium size. So yeah, so I mean, kind of. I mean, I don't wanna force it. I mean, hypothetically, if we run out of our large bags, um, we'll still be able to use the medium bags for our largest product. It's not going to be um, too overbearing. So, but I'll, but I would um, most likely just use the large bag for these. So. This is just such a nice bag. I'm just, I would just want to keep this on my, in my room. Just have it up, like, in my closet. So, this is extremely nice. I'm super glad that they came out so nice. I'm glad that everything worked out perfectly. I'm about to go ahead and open the banner to make sure that's okay. And then look at the tablecloth as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up uh, the banner. So let's see what this looks like. So it came in like this black case. So, so let's open this. This just looks like it's the bottom. It looks like some feet that can be moved. So I'm gonna just assume that, and then we're gonna. I'm assuming this goes in the back over here. Oh, this is tall. This is like super tall. Okay. Hmm. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is our top selling product, our cube set. It has a QR code to scan and shop on Amazon, which I'm about to verify works. Um, and it has our website down at the bottom and then some more of our uh, products in the middle. So this is absolutely beautiful i feel like uh it'll really draw attention to the guests at the trade show um and i'm hoping that i figure out how to keep this balance because right now i don't know so i may need my husband to help me but at least you guys can see <laughs> what it looks like for now figured it out perfect so it's just the way that i had to position the pole in the back i had to push it all the way through to the other side uh so this is absolutely perfect okay guys so this is going to be our tablecloth now against our cave blue it is a little bit of a difference in the blue um this is the blue on all of our packaging and this is more of like a baby blue 
um they tried to get it as close as they could uh, but obviously it's not exactly the same and this can sound kind of ridiculous but i am very anal about certain things and this i don't really like that so what i think i'm going to do is at the trade show our booth already comes with a table and a black tablecloth so what i'm going to do is i'll insert the picture of what this looks like so you guys can kind of like follow along with me um so what i'm going to do is the edges where it's blue i'm going to tuck the edges where it's blue and just show the black tablecloth underneath so it'll look like um the white is just like a table runner instead of a full table cloth um, and then I'm going to reorder this and I'll reorder it with just the black on the side, not the blue, because I really want the blues to match. I want cohesiveness throughout the entirety of our brand. Um, and this is not something that I personally, um, like, so it may not be a big deal for other people, but for me, it really is a big deal. So for now it'll work because I don't have time to make a new one, have it shipped to me and things like that. And then I'll show, I'll upload a video at the trade show and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about um, and showing you guys me doing it so you can kind of see too. Um, but that's my plan now because I'm just going to be thinking about this the whole time. If the blues are just, this is a blue and then this is a different blue and then this is a different blue. I just don't like that. So um, that's what we're going to do for right now. Uh, you gotta work with what you got, and this is what we got for now. Hey guys, so this will be the end of our trade show marketing vlog. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned through this whole vlog. I hope this was very informative for you guys. If you're looking into doing a pop-up event or a trade show, I hope this was very informative for you. And I hope you were able to take some pointers from the stuff that I got um, and find a way to incorporate it into your business. So if I can, I will link a lot of the stuff in the description box below. Some of the things like our bags, um, our banner and our tablecloth is from our packaging company uh, that does specific packaging for our brands. So I won't be disclosing them, but I will link everything else in the description box below. So thank you guys for staying tuned this long. If you're watching this vlog, that means that I'm currently at the trade show. So I hope you guys were able to come out and see me in New York, May 5th through 6th at the makeup show. So I hope to see you guys there and see you next week. Bye.